I really never know how to start these things, but welcome. This is a 1.11 Minecraft video. If you want to know the in and outs of 1.11, I'm your fucking man. All right, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, the exploration update, as it's entitled, there is a couple new mobs, structures, which is nice. They finally added some new structures, which they really tend to not do, but Minecraft seems to be gearing itself towards... <laughs> seems to be gearing itself towards um, more of finding loot rather than be able to craft. I know it's called Minecraft, but I like the aspect of finding loot. So there's going to be some new items you can actually find in some new structures that they have generated. So for starters, <laughs> you can see the llamas. They're a new mob. I'll get to them in a moment. For starters, we have the mansion, which will spawn in forest biomes and uh, roofed forest biomes. They are randomly generated uh, in the inside as, too, as well. Like There's basic concepts. I'm pretty sure there's a stairs every time you walk in. There's three floors. The top floor holds the um, the uh, the evokers, which is kind of like a mini boss. It's almost like the elder guardian concept. You kind of have to get to the top to uh, uh, get there. There is uh, loot as well. Oh! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I was trying to take auto jump off. There is loot as well in um, these guys uh, in the houses, but the only problem is there's also a spider spawner always in these guys. So if you want to make a spider farm, it's a good a good place to make it. As you can hear it, you just have to locate the room. And because these are randomly generated and the rooms spawn differently, sometimes you have to mine into walls uh, to find items. But again, like I was saying, there is three floors. The top floor has the invokers, which are kind of like a mini boss. Uh, they could spawn these things called vexes and fangs that will chase you around like ghosts. They can no clip it, go through walls and stuff. They will deal um, three hearts of damage, no matter if you have armor or not. I'm pretty sure that's just an infected villager. Uh, but that's a vex right there. Actually, usually they're on the top floor. So these two are vindic vindic vindictors, and essentially they're like villagers have been exiled from the village and are kind of pissed about it because they did some freaking no-nos. So right now they're calm because I'm in creative, but if I go into game mode one, they will uh, stop having their arms together and actually whip out a iron axe, and then this guy will actually uh, uh, raise his arms and start casting some stuff. So let's get ready for this. We'll go game mode. Ooh. Game mode zero. Oh, I'm not even ready. Oh god, he is quicker than I expected. Holy, holy crap! Oh, this is not good. Uh, the shields have been updated now too. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, I'm. Okay, so this guy will no longer. If zombies have no weapons. Oh wait, what? Hold on. Let me just check. I'm checking the durability. Oh, what the hell? I thought I read in the Epdod update uh, for this. I read the Wikipedia all day today. I studied it like a big old nerd that I am. Uh, I thought it said that durability isn't taken away from zombies that don't have weapons. I don't have arrows. Uh, cool thing with... Oh, God. Okay, I'm trying to show off some stuff. I need a better weapon. So as you can see, these things are pretty dangerous. Uh, those will drop... Each of them will drop emeralds. Uh, I don't know the drop rate percentages. Um, but the Vexes, the wizard guys, they will always drop a... Let's try to get him to spawn some stuff. There we go. When he raises the army, he's spawning stuff. So I think that's a Fang and that's a Vex. I think the Vexes are a little bit bigger. And he'll keep spawn... Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, hello, Mr. Villager. Oh, I'm pretty sure these have Lapis in the center of them. There's a lot of new cool stuff. I'm pretty sure. And that's why I have Night Vision on so you guys can see all this. I thought I read that there's lapis. Yeah, there's lapis in the center of these, so if you ever need lapis, that's one way to get them. I'm gonna fly back up there. Game okay, over one. Yeah, so those guys are pretty deadly. The vexes, oh god. See, he got, okay, so it does, it does count for armor. So they'll do, if you're not wearing armor, they'll deal uh, three hearts, six damage, but, uh, they're pretty freaking hard to hit because they randomly speed up. Correct. They speed up and come through the floor and ceiling. It's just not even fair. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he dropped a 
totem of undying. Lots of stuff to go over. Let's go back to my room, wherever it was. Let's go find it. But the totem of dying, as long as you have it, you're supposed to, ideally, you're supposed to wield it in your left hand. There's the llamas. Llama, llama, llamas. Ideally, you're supposed to wield it. Man, these guys are following me. And right before you take a death blow, this thing will break and actually take the uh, the blunt of the force uh, for you, and you won't die, and you'll get absorption and absorption, and I believe resistance for a short period of time. Let's actually test it. Uh, pretty sure it's supposed to work that way. So let's see if this works. Okay, see, and there's a little animation. You get absorption for a little bit. Okay, it clearly was not enough. Don't kill me! Uh, oh, did it clear my uh, night vision potion there? Jeez. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, those, those totems from dying are pretty cool. I think... Actually, let's check that. I don't know if they work for falling damage. I know they don't work for, uh, uh, like, the kill command or if you die from the void. But also, I don't know what its limit-restrictions <laughs> its restrictions are. So let's test this bad boy. I have my bed set over here, so we're good to go. We're good to test this. Uh, oh, we don't need caps there, Flimmy boy. Look at that! So it's absorption to regeneration for... Okay, that's cool. I like that. Okay, uh, let's get more into the fun stuff. Oops. So the, the two new mobs, let's just go over that. We have these Vindictors, which are villagers that have been exiled. They have iron axes. Um... Uh, oh, if they're named... So they won't attack other mobs, but if you actually name them Johnny, like... I don't know why, but this was in the change log. If you name them Johnny like that, they'll uh, attack mobs. And let's make sure this is true. Oops. Apparently the game's no longer case sensitive either. I think I read that in the change log. Lots of random stuff. Also with fishing. <laughs> now just go in. Poor alpacas. Oh, they're spinning. <laughs> They're spitting on him. You hear that? They'll spit on you, I think. I don't know if they'll spit on you if you're just around them. <laughs> also, they're a uh, pack animal. They're called caravans when they're in groups. And if you lead them, check this out. The others will try to follow and keep with it. So if you're trying to catch one alpaca, you literally just have to lead one and get the uh, rest to follow because they tend to try to stick together. And then actually, if there's just an alpaca by itself, it'll actually attack a wolf, which is very strange in my opinion. Um, they also added a new thing called a shulker chest or a shulker box, whatever you want to call it. And it is a very interesting item. You can dye them to whatever color you want, black, yellow, if you go into the... Oh, nice. I heard a spit noise there. Uh, shulker. You got all the colors. Really, 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 really awesome. Uh, I thought I read in the change log that you can open it up and see. I think you could see in your inventory five inventory slots. Anyways, it works like a chest. It has 27 slots. The nice thing about this is if when it breaks, all the contents stay inside. They don't explode out. And there's a really cool animation when you... Oh, it needs a space above to open it as well. Oh, does it? Will it open... So it opened, like, it's got the animation and everything. That's really cool. So you can kind of use those as, uh, I guess, backpacks, you could say, because it's in your inventory. All you have to do is place it down pick it back up. It's like a uh, ender chest, but it doesn't... Oh, that's what it means by... It. Oh, it tells you underneath. I thought it would be, like, a little chest icon that you could pick from it. It just tells you underneath in the, the tags. Stop pushing me. Uh, these guys are tamed with a sugar... Same thing, open hand, gotta ride it. I think they're tamed with sugar. Uh, you can't actually steer them quite yet, even if you uh, have heard that you can put a saddle on them. You don't actually put a saddle on them, you put a carpet on them. And you can't, so he's mine now. 
and the carpet has different patterns, which is no. Don't hurt my buddy. I think maybe he's trying to hit me. Um, you could put carpets on them. Look at that. Oh, the carpet is green. Or, or, <laughs> Jesus, that was the stupidest thing I've ever said. The uh, the carpet is a, a cre Jesus a creeper. You can't steer them yet for whatever reason. Uh, but you can. I'm pretty sure these guys have chest slots. Chest. I thought I heard you can put chests on these guys. No? Oh, I know how to do it. Uh, it's like a... No? There we go. Well, that's a cool noise. So then you got the chest slots as well. Nine slots. Kind of cool. Also, now when you're in uh, minecarts, you can see your hunger. Same as boats. Just small things. I'm trying to just go over through everything. Uh, if you're playing in creative, uh, you can actually do a new thing called locate. Uh, oh, sorry. And then it has all the match or all the uh, things for you. All the uh, thingamabobs. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Structures. There we go. So let's locate. Unable to locate village feature. What? Is that a village close enough for me? It's because I'm not in game mode one. Huh, that's weird. I wanted to go to a village because there's a a new villager. Can you spawn? No. There's a new villager librarian uh, class called a cartographer, and you can buy treasure maps uh, from them, and they reveal locations of like mansions, underwater temples, and on the map is a... <clears throat> I'll fly around and see if I can find a villager. On the map is a little white circle. Uh, and that's where you are on the map, and it will get bigger as you get closer, small as you get farther, and it will steer you into, well, hopefully, uh, let, lo help you locate, English, not my strong suit, help you locate a stronghold, temple, whatever you are looking for. Um, oh, llamas, they spawn in extreme hills, if you wanted to know, if you wanted to get yourself one. Um, flower pots. I'm literally just going everything. Everything I saw in the freaking change log. Everything I remember. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think you have to be in game mode one. Maybe an open hand as well. What? I don't know. I thought they changed something with the flower pots and noise or something. I thought I read. Uh, with the shield itself, uh, you no longer will get withered if the wither directly hits your shield instead of yourself. Uh, apparently zombies with weapon will not deal damage or durability of the shield. That's what I read. Burning zombies won't catch you on fire if you have your shield up. Um, chickens have a new texture on their neck. A new neck feature? I don't freaking know. I don't remember what the freaking chicken neck feature looked like. What? Okay. Is this supposed to be something different? Maybe the red didn't go well in the bottom. I don't know. I don't really recognize anything different. Uh, creepers that explode with uh, splash potions. Let's do leaping. Uh, we'll leave a lingering potion when they explode, which I find bloody freaking awesome. So let's do a nice game mode zero here. No, no, not ready. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, all right, all right, we're going down. What's next? What's next? Shulker boxes, llamas, that anything. Vex, you can spawn them, cool. They're little creepy motherfuckers. They don't burn either. Oh god, I'm not in survival or creative. Um, when using the uh, locate feature, uh, it does it the closest. Oh, there we go. TP 11, 8, 9, 6, 90, negative. That's a long ways away. Holy crap. Uh, when, uh, yeah, when you do it, it's the closest one to you. So let's see if I can find the, uh, cartographer. They're going to look the same as a librarian. So that's a librarian. Also, they add a new text. Uh, so when the text used to come up in chat, when it was like, it was, um, how am I going to describe it? Like, there's monsters nearby, uh, stuff like that. It now happens above your, uh, hotbar, as you can see, which I, I like. It's, it's sleek. It's nice. Um, if you see a green colored guy, he's actually called the Nitwit, which apparently he doesn't trade anything. He just cruises around the villages and like is the town dumbass or whatever. Town fool, I like to call it town dumbass. 
Um, but it doesn't look like we have a cartographer here. Cartographer. Here, Fletcher. You're still the librarian. You can villager. Oops. I'm pretty sure you can do a command to spawn this kind of stuff, but uh, there's the nitwit. I don't think he trades anything. Yeah, he doesn't trade anything, which I find hilarious. You could target, 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 target. Yes, okay. Um, so we'll trade paper, and then he'll probably want emeralds. So we'll just get those ready. It's nice that you can get another source of emeralds too. I really wanted that for Minecraft. Let's get. What the hell was that? Oh, I threw the paper at him. <laughs> uh, compass. Okay, you want a compass? Oops. A compass for an emerald is a pretty good deal, to be honest. What is that? Four iron and a redstone? That's not that bad at all. It's an interesting trade, to be honest. Empty map. Okay. Now, give me that treasure map. This kind of makes adventure maps, too. Uh, pretty cool. Ocean Explorer map. Okay, so we give him that. And that. And I take one of those. And now, see, I am the little white dot at the bottom right. That'll get bigger as I get closer. So I'll do locate temple. Oh, no, no, no. Can you do motion on you? No. Okay. Temple, it'll probably be the ocean one. Okay. I guess it's too far away. So it's supposed to get bigger the closer I get. The map's a little different. The uh, horizontal lines are actually uh, water, obviously, and then anything that's not is land. Okay, so I'm going bigger, I'm going in the right direction. Let's see if we can locate this bad boy. Let's try to locate temple again, nope. Oh, now I'm going away from it. Maybe it's this way. Anyways, it's kind of a cool feature for finding temples. It's just another way to get it, especially for uh, strongholds and stuff like that. It'd be cool. It does it for mansions. Uh, oh, husk, which were in the previous update, they do avoid water, which is an interesting trait. And if you're ever trying to do a uh, like a specific mob spawner, like filtering out certain mobs, and oh, okay, bye. Uh, that's a good way to do it. I don't think I'm missing anything. Oh, the cursed enchantments, derp. So there's new cursed enchantments that you can find cursed of binding and cursed of vanishing so the binding ones are enchantments or is an enchantment that you can't oh my god i keep doing that is you can't take it out of your <laughs> uh okay uh maybe because i think i started the world in creative mode i don't think they work when you're in creative mode but the vanishing essentially is when you have this uh, weapon, if you die with it, it's gone forever. It disappears, so that just, uh, that's probably gonna be on some really good items, so it's just a higher risk to use, higher risk to use that weapon or armor. Same thing with the armor, with the uh, binding, you can't take the armor off once it is on until you kill yourself. <sighs> Sounds very dark, but it's, uh, it's true. Um, I don't think, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, I, I think I have covered everything. Uh, to wrap this video up, um, I will be hosting, no, I will not be hosting, Jesus, sounds like a complete dick. I will be, uh, t partaking in a 1.11 server, uh, survival server with maybe a plugin or two on it. So just stay tuned for that if you do want to learn, uh, the complete 100%, uh, one, oh, Jesus. Uh, 1.11 update so I'll probably be implementing things and stuff like that showing off features that you can actually do with it This is just an all-around showing you what everything's about. I'm actually gonna get into details and kind of mess with some stuff maybe make uh, some machines or something to troll some husks or uh, Go wither fighting or go treasure hunt treasure map hunting or stronghold hunting and stuff like that uh, I, I don't know. It's just gonna be a lot of fun with a group of it's gonna be with another group of youtubers so Probably collaborations and stuff like that. So if you do want to check that out, just freaking stay tuned, all right? Well, thank you for watching this video. And if you want to see another 1.11, you let me know. Bye-bye.